Welcome. My name is Karuna Tirumala. I work at the Northwest Tribal Epidemiology Center, helping to make tribal health data more accurate and accessible to Northwest tribes. This short video is focused on helping you understand rates and rate ratios. It is part of a series of videos designed to help staff from tribes and native serving organizations gather and use health data. To see the rest of the videos in the series, visit the link shown. Okay, let's get started. Rates and rate ratios are commonly used to compare one group to another. Rates measure an event in a certain group of people over a certain amount of time. For example, the chart below describes the rates of people who quit smoking in my state by race from 2006 through 2010. Note that NHW is an abbreviation for non-Hispanic white. As you can see, 60% of the people who stopped smoking in my state from 2006 through 2010 were native. You can also see that 20% of the people who stopped smoking in my state from 2006 through 2010 were white. To get the native rate, they divided the number of native people in my state who quit smoking from 2006 through 2010 divided by the total number of people in my state who quit smoking from 2006 through 2010. When they did this, they got 60%. A rate ratio is a tool that is helpful for comparing rates between groups. A rate ratio tells you how much more or less common a particular event that happened in one group is compared to another group over a certain period of time. For example, a rate ratio of five means that the event occurred at five times the rate in one group over another group over a certain period of time. What if your rate ratio is one? That means that the likelihood something would happen was equal for both groups over a certain period of time. In the chart below, the final column on the right has an example of a rate ratio. Remember, 60% of the people who stopped smoking in my state from 2006 through 2010 were native, and 20% of the people who stopped smoking in my state from 2006 through 2010 were white. To get the rate ratio, they divided 60% by 20%, or 0.6 by 0.2, which equals three. That means that from 2006 through 2010, native people were three times more likely to quit smoking in my state than white people. What if your rate ratio is one? That means that the risk or the likelihood that something would happen was equal for both groups. If it's less than one, there was decreased risk or likelihood that something would happen for the group in question. If it's greater than one, there was increased risk or likelihood that something would happen for the group in question. Keep in mind, if you are ever struggling, consider connecting with the Northwest Tribal Epidemiology Center or the Tribal Epi Center that serves your region. Tribal Epi Centers are a great resource when it comes to health data. Not only can they help you with obtaining data, collecting your own data, analyzing and interpreting data, and translating your data into action, they can also help you understand your rights when it comes to health data because tribal epicenters are uniquely able to respond to the needs of tribal and urban Indian communities. You can learn more about TECS at www.tribalepicenters.org. If you are a member of a tribe in the Pacific Northwest and you need data services, contact the Northwest Tech by emailing npaihb at npaihb.org. If you are outside the Pacific Northwest, visit the Tribal Epicenter's website to find contact information for the tech director in your region. Thank you for taking the time to listen to this video. To watch the next video in the series, click the link shown to the left.